Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome back to the Carter James Ranch. This is Robbie. I uh, wanted to give you an update on our injured uh, ewe lamb from yesterday. But first off, if you want to get updates on when we, not, when we drop new videos and our ranching journey, please subscribe, hit the like button. That helps uh, get you notified every time we drop a new video. So I just got back home. Um, uh, wanted to check out the uh, want to check out our our, dam our injured ewe lamb. For those of you guys who haven't seen the last video. Uh, our livestock guardian dog Coda, who you can see right there, um, he he's only five, he's only six months old right now, and he's been getting a little too playful with some of the younger ewes, and I uh, came out the other morning, and a couple of the ewes were were not able to get up, and he was got a little too aggressive with them with their with with their back uh, back legs. So, just got home, um, came over here to check on where I had left the last ewe lamb. I gave her plenty of water here, gave her some shade, and she was not here. So, obviously, I was like, wow, that's kind of strange. She couldn't even get up um, a while ago. Sh sheep are tough. I know a lot of people have told me that. Uh, I've watched a lot of videos on them, and they're pretty resilient. So, I saw Coda wandering around, so I decided to come over here and check out the, the hoop house. Here's one of the brown ewe lambs. That's the older ewe. Dakota doesn't like it when I when I get him pinned in there. So this is one of the other ewe lambs that she had a little bit of a nick on her back right leg, but she's able to get up. She's just hanging out. But oh, I want to show you real quick. He found a he found an egg, a chicken egg, and so he's got egg yolk on the top of his head. So you see how playful he gets. Uh, I witnessed him this morning and yesterday getting real playful with the ewes. He wants to play with them. Which, you know, I've been hanging out with him a lot more. And he is getting more friendly. I still can't pet him. He doesn't let me pet him. We're, we're about to get a leash on him here pretty soon. But I was just looking around trying to find this other you, And she was standing up a minute ago. But now she sat back down. So she was out here grazing, which is really positive to me. I've been carrying her, actually. Getting her up and forcing her to eat is because I know she needs to eat. And so here she is hanging out. She's got a little bit of a little bit of a scratch there on her back leg. So I even saw Coda playing with her this morning. Last night I actually locked all the sheep in the hoop house so that Coda could not have access to them and then he's been with them today i also called um a couple people and they actually gave me a good idea i've only got five sheep so i don't, I, I give him a, a good a good sized area but not not too big but he had uh the suggestion came out that i should maybe give give coda and give the sheep a bigger paddock just so that he can wander around and might not get his board and what was really interesting is I sat out here today for about, about an hour, wanted to watch him after I expanded his paddock and he literally wandered. He was wandering way more. Normally when they're in a small area, right now it's the middle of the day, it's about 90 degrees. He will just sit up in the shade house and just hang out like he's real bored. Well, he's wandering all over now. Now it might be because I'm out here, but when he gets up and around, he does wander the perimeter and checks out stuff and, and uh, if he finds an egg or something for one of the chickens, he'll he'll have fun eating that. But he is getting more active. Now let's see if he gets playful with that you. No, it looks like he's doing okay. He's just going to lay down. But I do think giving him a bigger paddock is going to help him entertain himself more. So that would be good. Uh, obviously, here's the other here's the other couple. Here's one of our rams and a ewe. So the sheep are doing pretty well. I'm actually pretty encouraged that this ewe lamb got up because literally she could not get up the last day or two, but she's still not walking on that back right leg. I was gonna mention a minute ago, I hope she doesn't have anything internally wrong or anything's broken. I've, I've messed with her leg and tried to move it and she doesn't act like it hurts her or anything, but she's definitely, um, still laid up a little bit so just watching her throughout the day here making sure coda is not playing with them uh i did take one other precaution i did order 
a sheep tractor. I see guys on YouTube that are uber handy. They can weld all this stuff together. I'm not that guy. So I ordered one that's hopefully going to be here next week. And what I'm going to do until Coda is fully broken of this habit is I'm just going to keep these five sheep inside the sheep tractor, which is going to be 16 by 16. And I'll move it a couple times a day. And I'll keep that tractor inside the electric fence and just let Coda roam. So we'll kind of have two, two layers. So it's a hot day again, 90 degrees, right here in the middle of the day, 1.30 in the afternoon. Sheep are going out grazing a little bit. I don't know if you can see it on, on the camera though. We just had them in this area from here over to the fence over here. And there's definitely a graze line. And then I just let them up into this new fresh green grass. And then they've got all the way kind of over, over beyond. So going to give the bigger paddock, see if that helps Coda out, which I think it will. So appreciate you guys watching. Don't forget to hit, hit that subscribe button and the like button. Please give me your comments. Love interacting with you guys. Really appreciate all of you that have subscribed over the last couple of weeks to follow the channel. Really enjoy getting the comments, and interacting with you guys, finding out where you're from. If you're in agriculture, raising cattle, sheep, chickens, whatever you're doing. So Thanks again for watching. Have a great day. God bless.